Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Taylor from Yakima Products. I do a lot of the product marketing here. I am in uh, sunny Portland, Oregon, uh, coming at you from our headquarters. Just wanted to walk you through a couple of our overlanding setups that we have. We've got our Ford Ranger all set up as well as our Forerunner with, uh, with a hot new product coming out at the end of the summer. Just kind of wanted to give you a little, uh, little sneak peek and a preview of that. So let's uh, come on in. It was our build from the 2019 SEMA show. We worked with Ford to build out this Ranger. Uh, had a lot of really cool partners to, uh, to just kind of deck it out. Uh, Rigid came through with a ton of lights. We got uh, BFG KO2s on there, fuel rims, RPG bumpers and rock sliders. And then, uh, uh, you know, as always, we got a ton of Yakima product on here. Got this set up with our new lock and load platform. We have this uh, hooked up to our Skyline Towers. You can go directly to our towers or you can go directly to, uh, to crossbars. Um, so if you wanted to set up a lock and load platform uh, on our, one of our truck racks or just on any vehicle roof, uh, we've got a lot of versatility to do that. We also have six different sizes to fit your vehicle roof or truck bed. So, uh, so you can definitely uh, kind of customize uh, the platform to your vehicle uh, quite a bit. And then we have a lot of accessories that we offer for the lock and load program. We've got our corner brackets. Again, everything's T-slot mounted. So it really uh, uh, integrates well with all the T-slots that we have running in our lock and load platform here. So corner brackets, perfect for like a loadout box, um, you know, uh, coolers even, um, uh, action packers, all that stuff. Uh, just a good way to uh, get stuff up onto the roof and out of the vehicle. Um, make room for you know companions dogs uh, all that stuff another uh, cool accessory we have is our jerry can holder uh, it is uh, specific for a uh, for like a 15 20 liter jerry can um, and then it comes with its own ratcheting strap that integrates uh, with all the mounting hardware another uh, uh, really cool accessory this is our uh, recovery uh, track mounts so underneath our recovery tracks uh, we've got some uh, mounting boards there to put your recovery boards to. And then it comes with these, uh, with these custom straps for it. And then they Velcro into place there too, um, just to make sure that this isn't flying around, uh, flapping in the wind. And then we'll, uh, we'll get to the uh, high lift jack uh, holder there on the other side when we get over there. But uh, you'll notice on the front of the platform, we've got a, a nice rigid uh, light bar uh, mounted to the T-slot on the front there with our lighten up light bracket. Newer product for us. Uh, we actually just, uh, those just uh, became available. So you can go pick those up along with any of these other accessories uh, on yakma.com or your local dealer. The 440 pound dynamic uh, weight uh, rating, depending obviously on the connection point and then the, how many bars you're running underneath to support the platform. Uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, technical fit information on our website. So when you're building out your platform, you can just double check, make sure that you are getting uh, enough of the attachment points um, to, uh, you know, to really just take advantage of the weight rating that you want to take advantage of. Um, a lot of customization can go into uh, the lock and load platform system. We actually have mounted um, on this Ranger roof, we have our landing pad uh, 21 which is a custom mounted uh, landing pad. We actually uh, puts uh, fixed points in your ditch mold of your roof as to take advantage of higher weight ratings, uh, make, making, um, you know, otherwise naked roof, uh, uh, naked roofs that are unable to accommodate uh, tents or other high loads, um, just making it, making it able that you can uh, take advantage of, uh, of uh, you know, getting a rooftop tent on a vehicle that you might not otherwise. Um, such as a, a Prius, we've, we've seen that as well. Um, so yeah, this is our lock and load platform. Uh, this is all available right now uh, through our retailers or yakma.com. And show you some of the new products, uh, well, new products to us. Uh, we acquired Road Shower um, back in December. And so uh, we're excited to have them kind of come into the Yakima family. Uh, just an awesome brand, awesome product, uh, really easy to use. Um, and the nice thing is, I mean, right now we've got this little uh, thermometer thing. We're pretty much looking at about 108 degrees right there. So as far as, uh, you know, the water inside, uh, you know, definitely heats up uh, because of this uh, uh, 
because it is black uh, during the summer, you know, you're gonna get nice warm showers. Um, so you don't have to uh, worry too much about uh, always getting a cold shower. Um, so yeah, so really cool product though. Uh, comes with the hose. We have other attachments, uh, kind of a uh, shower nozzle as well. Very easy to use as far as filling up goes. You would actually just uh, pop this hose off. There's a uh, uh, connection. So you just connect this thing up to your garden hose and just turn on your gar uh, turn on your hose. The nice thing is this pressure release valve is gonna go off when you uh, have essentially filled it up and pressurized the tank. And then uh, you are able to uh, pressurize the tank with just a normal Schrader valve as well. So if you just pour water in here, so you aren't always, uh, you don't have, always have access to, uh, to a garden hose, you can just pour water in there, close that guy up, and then just pressurize this tank uh, with just a, a normal Schrader bike pump. Um, and then uh, the nice thing is because it, uh, the blow off valve, um, you don't have to worry about over, uh, over pressurizing this. Uh, we do sell this in three different uh, capacities, a four, seven, and a 10 gallon. 10 gallon's a lot longer, uh, looks really well on those Sprinter uh, builds. Um, and we've actually had the Ranger here set up uh, with a 10 gallon as well. Uh, and it does just fine. Um, so yeah, a couple different capacities for you to uh, to just you know be able to uh, blast off the mac and cheese uh, on the dishes. Um, you know, wash off the dog. You're going mountain biking. Wash off your bikes uh, when you're done. Um, kind of stuff. So uh, definitely a lot of versatility with this guy. Uh, and then I'll actually talk about what are we mounting it to. We've got our uh, this is our outpost truck bed rack. This is our heavy duty truck bed system. This is currently mounted to a Retrax um, tonneau, retractable tonneau cover and with our uh, tonneau kit one. Normally, uh, this would actually just come with uh, mounting hardware to mount to uh, about 90% of beds out there. Um, and then uh, for your Tacoma and your Frontiers that have the bed tracks on the inside of the rail, we do a sell a, a bed track kit one. Uh, and that is what allows you to attach your overhaul, which is our adjustable height and then our outpost, which is you're seeing here, this is our fixed mid height, uh, you know, a little lower center of gravity. So it's not getting that weight up uh, higher than it really needs to be uh, better for kind of that off-roading uh, mentality, all off-road rated. And it's really versatile. Uh, this is shown here with our sidebar setup. This has T slots on the side here. We mounted a, a shovel um, that we got from Deimos. And then the bars of the, uh, uh, that go with the outpost and the overhaul, those are also T-slot, um, so you're able to really just uh, put a lot of our T-slot uh, mounted uh, products just onto these bars as well. We've seen people mount stuff to the underside of the bars, the top of the bars. You can kind of go a little crazy. Uh, with the retracts, it brings the weight down to 300 pounds. Otherwise, on all the other, other truck beds out there, it's a 500 pound dynamic uh, weight rating. So definitely uh, you know, good heavy duty product um, to really just, uh, you know, yeah, it'll live up to the uh, to the off road and abuse as well. Uh, we've got this set up with our HD tent. Uh, this is our uh, small HD tent. We do make a little bit uh, wider uh, and longer um, uh, medium uh, tent, but this is our HD Skyrise tent. And probably one of the biggest selling factors um, for our tents is really just our mounting hardware. As far as being able to take the tent on and off, really easy. We've got our, what's called our spin vise clamps. And I mean, to take this on and off, all I'm doing is spinning these guys back and then do all, I would do all four mounts and this would just lift right off the bar. Uh, so really easy to put on and off the vehicle, uh, which is nice if you don't wanna leave your tent on, uh, you know, 365 days a year, um, you know, and really just kind of preserve uh, some of the uh, some of the materials, obviously from a lot of the sun damage. Um, you know, if you're leaving this on for a couple of years, you're definitely going to see some fading. Um, so it's, we're just making it really easy for you to take it on and off your vehicle, uh, so you don't have to uh, necessarily have it on all the time um, for you. Uh, I did mention on the other side, we got our uh, this is our top grip. It's T-slot mounted, so it'll fit most T-slots. Um, and uh, since a lot of our product is, we're able to put these kind of everywhere. Uh, you know, on the crossbars, uh, on this, on the lock and the platform. Great for kayak paddles, canoe paddles, 
uh, axes. We got a shovel on the other side that I showed you. The really neat thing is, and like all of our product, uh, we have a single key system. So we're able to lock into, uh, we're able to lock actually down that tent, as I mentioned earlier, with it being able to easy to take on and off. It is also lockable. So that's really cool. Um, same with our outpost. It's all lockable. And the neat thing is you can key everything the same. So it's all going off of one key. So everything that's on this truck is locked down uh, and it is just unlockable with just this one key. And as far as unlocking the, uh, the top grip, just do that. And then that's all it is. There's no, no tools. No tools, tool free, uh, really easy to, to use. And uh, again, neat thing is when you're going into that gas station or you're in town, uh, haven't quite gotten out that far, um, you know, you're, you're able to be a little more uh, worry free uh, with some of your nice expensive uh, axes and shovels. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite products uh, that we make as far as just some super cool little add on that I think a lot of people just kind of overlook. Um, this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, highly recommend it. Over to the other side, uh, now we do have our high lift jack uh, brackets and these do go into those T-slots on the top of this uh, uh, lock and load platform. Uh, just a really cool, uh, you know, easy way to get your high lift jack uh, onto the rack. Um, real quick, I gotta I got show it off because I love it, but seat covers from Wet Oakey, you know, just little, little things like that just to tie it all in. Um, really, uh, you know, just kind of make this a really fun build uh, for us. So that's the Yakima Ranger uh, that uh, we kind of have all overland set up. I mean, this thing is ready to go. Got the lift, um, you know, got all the light bars. You know, it is ready to get out there. Uh, next, I want to just kind of walk you through just a little bit about our new CBX box, uh, uh, CBX boxes that are coming out. Those will be available at the end of the summer here. Um, just, I mean, just ultra premium box, cool angular looks, uh, just, you know, kind of make it a little more edgy. The, the Halo product for this year, this is our CBX Solar, as indicated by this custom little blue badge uh, up there, a little addition on there. But a lot of really cool um, touch points with this box that just make this kind of a premium experience uh, for, uh, for our consumers with this single key system really easy we uh extended the length of this handle here just to really make it easy to pop open and close as far as for installation goes and this is across our cbx and our grand tour lines we've got our new torque knob and it just it's a uh, uh, just a little uh, uh three-quarter drive but when you hear the click you know it's tight enough so there's no guesswork um, it's really easy to take on and off again you know, something that we like to, and now you're able to take it off the bars. And then I'm just tightening it back up until I hear the clip. Uh, the neat thing, uh, as with, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, the Grand Tour and the CVX line, um, you know, it's just, it's really easy to take on and off your vehicle. And again, that torque knob just makes it uh, kind of worry free of whether or not you had it tightened. Uh, unique, obviously, to the solar box. Uh, we've got this little brain uh, right here. And this is actually where you would um, connect. We've got a little uh, USB cable that comes with the box and that just connects in there. And then there's another spot right there for another USB. So you can run two USBs off of this. Um, and then we actually just have it, some little, uh, little connector uh, wire holders to kind of just keep this strap uh, out of the way um, when you're opening and closing and loading it up. But then you can just plug any USB uh, uh, product into that port. As far as the, uh, the panel itself, uh, 36 watt, five volt panel, uh, and that is integrated into the box uh, there. Um, and again, uh, a lot of um, effort really going into, uh, you know, going with a, uh, a panel that is going to withstand a lot of those rock chips, uh, a lot of the, the stuff that's gonna happen, you know, when you're driving, um, you know, just to kind of stand up to the elements um, and that, you know, of, of just, uh, of just driving with uh, 
a little pebbles and rocks in the road, making sure that you know we're giving you a, a solid product. Um, and then obviously the special Yakima Solar Badge on our uh, on our Yakima Wrapped 4Runner. The TRD Pro on our TRD Off Road on this, and we got a few of the few of the, the extras on there with the uh, the skid plate, and then uh, obviously the TRD uh, rim package as well. So yeah, that's what we've got uh, for just kind of some overlanding products. Um, really happy to just. Yeah, uh, have you join us along. Uh, hopefully this inspires you to uh, just, you know, kind of find that next destination and uh, hopefully, yeah, um, uh, ways to accessorize your vehicle, uh, just help you get out farther and farther and find your, uh, your own little isolated piece of land to explore. Uh, thanks so much. Once again, this is Taylor from Yakima here in sunny Portland, Oregon.